Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into the intriguing world of safes and how to crack them open without keys or a combination. This fascinating journey we're about to embark on is not an invitation to mischief, but an educational adventure into the depths of locksmithing and security. We're going to explore the various types of safes out there, from the traditional dial safes to the more modern digital ones. We'll delve into the subtle art of safe manipulation, the precision of drilling, and the intricate technique of scoping. We're going to uncover the mystery wrapped in steel and iron, revealing the secrets that lie behind those thick doors. Remember, the knowledge we're sharing is meant for professional use or for those times when you've misplaced your key or forgotten your combination. It's not an excuse for illegal activities. Stay tuned as we unravel the secrets of safe cracking. To open a safe without keys or a combination, it's crucial to understand how safes work. Safes are designed to be secure but they're not invincible. They are, at their core, complex machines guided by principles of physics and engineering. There are several types of safes, each with their unique locking mechanisms. The most common types are combination locks and key locks. Combination locks utilize a series of rotating discs or cams that must align perfectly to open the lock. On the other hand, key locks use a key to move a series of pins or levers to a specific position, allowing the lock to open. Now let's get into the vulnerabilities of these locks. Combination locks, while secure, can be manipulated. This means that with the right technique and a lot of patience, the lock can be opened without the combination. This is often achieved by feeling or listening for subtle changes as the discs align. Key locks, however, are a different story. They're susceptible to lock picking, which involves using tools to manipulate the pins or levers into the correct position. It's a delicate process that requires a steady hand and a keen understanding of the lock's inner workings. But it's not just the locks themselves that can be exploited. Safes often have other vulnerabilities, such as weak points in their construction, that can be targeted to gain access. For instance, some safes have thin walls that can be drilled through, while others have specific points that, when struck correctly, can cause the lock to disengage. Understanding these mechanisms and vulnerabilities is key to opening a safe without the keys or combination. It's a fascinating field that combines elements of engineering, physics, and even psychology. It's about knowing both the machine and the mind that designed it. Now that you've got a basic understanding of safes, it's time to delve into the techniques. The first technique we're going to explore is manipulation. Now don't let the name fool you. We're not talking about psychological games here, but a method that's been around for centuries, used by locksmiths and safe crackers alike. So what exactly is manipulation? At its core, manipulation is the art of feeling and listening. It's about using your senses to decipher the combination of a lock without the need for drilling or damaging the safe in any way. Picture this, a locksmith, eyes closed, ear pressed against the cold metal surface of a safe. They're listening for the subtle clicks and changes in resistance as they slowly turn the dial. These sounds and sensations are the secret language of the lock, whispering the correct combination to those who know how to listen. Manipulation works on the principle that every lock is slightly imperfect, and these imperfections can be used to our advantage. As the dial turns, the lock's components interact in a specific way. By listening and feeling for these interactions, it's possible to figure out the lock's combination. Let's put this into context with a hypothetical situation. Imagine you've inherited an old safe from a relative. They've long forgotten the combination, but you know it's full of family mementos. Rather than causing irreversible damage to the safe or its contents by drilling, you could use manipulation to crack the combination. Start by turning the dial slowly, keeping your ear tuned to the small clicks and shifts. Feel for any changes in resistance. These are your clues. Gradually, through patience and careful attention, you might just be able to piece together the combination and unlock the safe, all without causing a single scratch. Manipulation is a skill that requires patience and practice, but it can be highly effective. It's a testament to the artistry of locksmithing, a dance between the locksmith and the lock. Mastering this technique won't happen overnight, but with time and dedication, you'll be unlocking the secrets of safes with the best of them. Our next technique is a bit more intrusive, drilling. Now let's delve into the art of drilling. It's a more hands-on approach to opening safes. Drilling is the process of creating a hole into the safe using a drill bit, allowing us to bypass the lock mechanism altogether. It's not the most subtle way to open a safe, but it can be incredibly effective when done right. Drilling, in essence, is a lot like solving a puzzle. 
you need to know precisely where to drill to avoid damaging the lock mechanism beyond repair. It's not as simple as drilling a hole anywhere you fancy. You need to be aware of the safe's design and the lock mechanism structure to ensure you're drilling in the right spot. So how is it done? Essentially, you'll need a high-quality drill and a good deal of patience. The aim is to drill a hole that allows you to see or manipulate the lock's internal components. Once you've made your hole, you can use a borescope, a flexible telescopic camera, to view the lock's innards. From there, you can manipulate the lock to open the safe. Let's consider an example. Suppose you've inherited an old safe from your great aunt Edna. She's left no clues about the combination and you're left scratching your head. You've tried manipulation but it's not getting you anywhere. In this situation, drilling could be your best bet. It's an intrusive technique but it could be the key to unlocking Aunt Edna's secrets. But remember, drilling is not a method to take lightly. It's a more destructive approach and could potentially damage the safe beyond repair. It's always best to consult with a professional before taking a drill to your safe. Drilling is a testament to the idea that sometimes, to crack a tough nut, you need more than just a gentle touch. It's a method that requires skill, precision, and a bit of grit. But when executed correctly, it can be a remarkably effective way of opening a safe. Drilling is a more destructive method, but sometimes it's the only option. Our final technique for today is scoping. Scoping is a fascinating method of safe cracking that combines the finesse of manipulation with the raw power of drilling. It's like having the best of both worlds, a marriage of brawn and brain that results in a unique approach to opening a safe without keys or combination. Now let's delve into the crux of how scoping works. The principle behind scoping is simple yet ingenious. It involves drilling a small strategic hole in the safe, just enough to insert a bore scope a flexible lighted instrument that allows us to peek inside the safe and gather valuable information. Once we have our eyes inside the safe, we can observe the internal mechanism, the lock wheels, and the gates. We can then use this information to deduce the combination of the safe, just like we would in manipulation, but with the added advantage of being able to visually confirm our deductions. Let's consider an example. Imagine you're faced with a high-end safe, one that's been designed to thwart manipulation attempts. Traditional manipulation may be time-consuming, or even impossible. Here's where scoping comes to the rescue. By drilling a small hole and inserting a bore scope, you're able to see the internal workings of the lock, bypassing any manipulation-proof mechanisms and getting straight to the heart of the matter. And voila, you've cracked the safe. Of course, scoping, like any technique, requires practice and precision. It's not about drilling a hole anywhere and hoping for the best. It's about understanding the safe, knowing where to drill, and being able to interpret what you see through the bore scope. Scoping is a powerful tool in the safe cracker's arsenal. It's a technique that balances the delicate art of manipulation with the assertive action of drilling. It allows us to see what we're usually left guessing, providing a level of certainty that can be invaluable when tackling complex safes. In conclusion, scoping is a combination of manipulation and drilling, providing a unique approach to safe cracking. So, there you have it, the secrets to opening a safe without keys or combination. Today, we've journeyed through the intriguing world of safes and their secrets. We've learned about the art of manipulation, the precision of drilling, and the insightfulness of scoping. Each technique, with its own unique merits and limitations, serves as a testament to the intricate world of locksmithing. Remember, these techniques aren't just about opening a safe without the traditional means. They're about understanding the complexities of a seemingly impenetrable fortress and finding a way to respectfully navigate through it. However, it's vital to underscore that these methods should always be used responsibly. They're not a license for mischief, but tools for problem solving when conventional methods fail us. So, always respect the lock, and it will respect you. What do you think about these techniques? Have you tried any of them? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.